Hello, this is David Coyle, and welcome to the next video in our series, Using the Terminal, a Sample Data Analysis. In this video, we're going to discuss some preliminary analysis that you can perform with just the terminal, without the help of a bioinformatician. To begin with, let's open the terminal and resize it. What we're going to do today is we're going to perform what we call an in silico northern analysis. So as you may recall, the data for these two plant crosses was generated from RNA that was made into cDNA that was then sequenced. So the number of times a particular gene occurs in this sequence data is representative of its expression level. A gene that's expressed a lot will occur in a high number of these sequences. So to look at a particular gene of interest, we're simply going to use grep-c to count the number of times that gene was sequenced in the run. So say you have a pet gene that you know is involved in desiccation resistance and you think might explain some of the differences in seed viability observed between these two crosses. So to refresh your memory, the Illumina sequencing run generates millions of short sequence reads, and any time one of those reads is aligned to something in the cDNA database, it's annotated as such. So we're just going to count the annotation. So we're going to say graph C, and we're going to type the name of the gene that we're interested in. That's our pet gene, and then we're going to drag and drop cross one. And so we're going to count the number of times this gene name occurs in the sequencing run. Press return, and we wait. And voila, you can see that that gene occurred 549 times in the sequence data from cross one. Well, what about cross two? So again, we'll press the up arrow to get that whole line of text back. We'll just change this to cross two and try it again. And voila, you see here that this gene only occurred 15 times out of the 18 million sequence reads. So this is intriguing, but there's a couple other things you would need to do to verify this data. Uh, one would be to have biological replicates of this experiment that's a discussion for another time. Um, another would be to normalize these to the number of sequence reads within each sequence. So there's a lot more of this gene in this sequence run, but if there were 10 times as many sequences in total here as here, that would skew the data. And we're not going to do that, but just to show you how you would do that is you would do a graph dash C or Illumina, because the word Illumina occurs in every line of the sequence. So this would tell you how many sequence reads there were in each cross, and then you could normalize this data to that information for each cross. Um, the other thing that you would want to do, of course, just like you would with RT-PCR, for example, is you would want to look at a housekeeping gene, and you want to want to make sure that you can normalize this to gene expression differences for housekeeping genes that should be the same. So we'll just take a look here at one housekeeping gene just as an example. Okay, and our example housekeeping gene here is AT1G07920. Let's take a look at cross number one. All right, you can see here that this is a much more highly expressed gene. And now we'll take a look at cross number two. And it looks pretty comparable. So that's all the analysis we're going to do today, but this is just to show you how you can use the terminal to begin to answer some preliminary questions. 
you can ask gene-specific questions. You know, how often did this gene occur in one sequencing run relative to another? You can look at housekeeping genes, etc. Now, of course, in a real experiment, you would use different software and you would perform a complete analysis on every gene. You would see how many times each gene occurred. You would look for some ratio threshold with appropriate normalization. And we're going to do all of that in subsequent videos. But here you can use, with no special tools, just the terminal on an unmodified alignment file, and you can take a preliminary look at your data. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.